guys, it's Jen and I've been flying so much lately I thought it would be a good idea to show you guys my routine for how I get ready every time I'm leaving on an airplane Don't know when and I'll be back again <laughs> And I wanted to show you guys what I do to prep my face, my skin, my makeup, everything, my hair Before I am about to go on one of these flights because you guys know cabin air is super drying Let's go ahead and get started First of all, I've already prepped my face by washing it and I wanted to start off with a serum I'm using the Origins Original Skin Serum and actually I am super super excited about this product because I'm going to be collaborating with Origins and you guys might see my face in Origins stores and on their Instagram very very soon. This stuff is pretty awesome. It smells so great and fabulous and natural but not too heavily perfumed or anything. What this stuff does is it will protect your skin from that really yucky cabin air but it's also going to give you a brightening effect. I don't know if it's just me but my skin tends to get super super dull. So this really helps to kind of remove that factor altogether. It also kind of helps to cover up any pores or anything. So makeup just glides over it really nicely. The next step I'm going to do is actually taking an overnight mask because again, the cabin air, you want to really protect your skin from the drying, sucking, evil abilities of that evil, evil recycled air. Whenever I land, I'm going to wash my skin so that it's not just sitting on my face the whole day. But I feel like it really does kind of help to protect your skin during the flight. So because we used that serum first, this is just going to work even better. The key to holding in that moisture is just to layer the skincare. Kind of like how Asians have their like 50 million skincare step routine. I think it's really important on a flight to do the same thing. The next step is eye cream. I like going with something a little heavier and more moisturizing. My favorite one lately is the Clinique Repairwear Laser Focus. I'm just gonna dab this in the orbital eye area. So not directly right by my eyes, but it's just gonna be in this circle going all the way around. Again, to give my skin a little bit more time to sink in with all the skincare products, I'm going to do my eye makeup first. I'm taking my Too Faced palette, I'm just using this neutral shadow right here. I'm not trying to look like I'm wearing a whole ton of eyeshadow. I just want to look like a little bit less dead. Now I'm taking this really light shadow and I'm popping this on the eyebrows because that's really going to help brighten up your face. And that is the key to airplane makeup is just to look a little more bright and awake and not like you've been suffering for five hours. If you're wanting just a touch more definition, you can go in with a third color. Let's go with this little medium brown color right here. And I'm just going to add this just from the outer third of the eye into that outside contour area. I usually find using a pencil eyeliner tends to just smudge all over my face anytime I'm on a flight. So I'm just taking this medium brown color and I'm going to use that to define my lower lash line. So I'm just doing this only about halfway in. This will help define your eyes in a really natural way and make you look a little more pulled together but not come across as like too heavy makeup or trying too hard. Next I'm gonna go in with a liquid liner. Again, I'm skipping the pencils cause they really smudge on me. I don't know if it's just the elevation or the fact that I take several naps on airplanes but it just does not look pretty. So I'm just doing a nice little wing because most likely I'm not gonna be wearing false lashes on my flights. I like doing my eyeliner just a little bit thick just so you can see the line when your eyes are open but not so much that it looks like a black hole on your eye. You know what I'm talking about. Next I'm going to fill in my eyebrows. I actually am going to do these a little bit on the darker side just to give my eyes a little bit more definition because the rest of my makeup is going to be kind of light. Now I'm going in with my trusty eyelash curler and most, most waterproof mascara because you don't want any smudging. A little quick tip, if you apply your mascara looking way down, hold your mirror way underneath you, you're a lot less likely to smudge it all over your eyelid. Now possibly the most important part of the makeup step is concealer. I'm not using a foundation to cover my skin entirely. I'm just looking from afar, getting the big dots. So much more fresh and awake. If you see little things showing through, 
I think that's totally okay. It's more important to make sure your skin is staying healthy. Because every little bit of brightness helps, I'm using a blush with a little bit of a sheen. This is the Benefit Rockateur blush. I'm just popping this a little bit underneath my cheekbones to do kind of a contour blush combo effect. So I'm just adding this by my ears and tapping it forward. Not too much. Um, and I'm also blending this a little bit around the outsides of my face just to look a little more natural. And finally, I need to remember to hydrate my lips. So I'm taking my Jack Black lip balm. I'm adding a pretty good glob of that. And you might want to carry this with you in your carry-on just to reapply in case your lips get dry throughout your flight. For my hair, I don't usually want to mess with doing too much of it, but I do want to look a little bit cuter and not so flat. So I'm doing that in two different ways. First of all, I'm taking my dry shampoo. I'm just gonna put some of that in my hair, shake it up just so I can get a little refresh to my hair. Even if it's kind of clean, it helps to give it just a little more volume. And then my second trick is to use a beanie. I'm usually freezing on airplanes anyway, so this will hide a bad hair day. Plus, it doesn't hit against your head like wearing your hair in a bun. Let's toss this bad boy on. And I am flight ready. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful if you're leaving on a flight soon. If you did, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below with your number one tip on like what you absolutely have to bring on your carry-on. Cause let's be honest, there's not a whole lot of room, not a ton of things you can take with you, but there are some things that I'm really sad if I miss it, like my lip balm. So let me know that down in the comments. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. It's just really nice and sexy and it makes it smell like a guy is really freshly out of the shower without smelling soapy. Another product I've been loving this month, maybe because I've been a little bit lazier with my makeup removal routine, is the Kogendo Cleansing Spa Water.